Hello everyone, today we've got some Superman gameplay from a Superman game that was obviously cancelled. This was being worked on back in 2007-2008. Now all the details I'm about to give you and this gameplay is from Salvatrix, who uh, she was a developer on a Superman game that was being worked on 2007-2008 and she did a whole Twitter thread last week about this and posted some videos which is the gameplay you're seeing now. I'll have a link in the description if you want to watch these videos with the sound and everything. I have the sound turned off because it's mainly just the Superman theme, there's not really many sound effects or anything. Thing. It's just a Superman theme and I don't want to get copyright striked. So yeah, but let's let's talk about this gameplay and talk about her thread uh, So she talked about this game was being worked on 2007 2008 and then it got canceled when the uh, financial when the economy crashed in 2008 and this was originally supposed to be like a sort of companion piece to the Superman Returns sequel uh, But that obviously didn't happen But the developer and the publisher both got shut down when the economy crashed in 08 uh, but yeah, this looks really cool. I mean, obviously it's unfinished, but it still looks dope. And some of the notes she put on her thread actually sound really interesting about this game and not just like your typical Superman game. So, uh, it was being developed in 2007-2008, like I said. Uh, they, they wanted to make it have a lot of cool brawls like you saw in Justice League Unlimited. She talked about how she was really inspired by the animated series, especially Justice League Unlimited, because it had a lot of big, sprawling brawls throughout cities, and they wanted to do that, like you'll see in the gameplay here, when you're punching people through buildings and stuff, and it looks really cool. Um, one of the quotes from uh, the thread, she said, is aerial brawling, large urban environments, crashing through buildings, fast target engagement, knocking your foe into the next block, shockwaves from hits, impact grooves in the streets or building sides. And you see that here in this game, like right there, where just like you see the the impact th in the building on the side of the building. It looks so cool. Like that, that seems awesome. And we still haven't gotten a game like that, which is insane. And here you see Zod, uh, which is kind of cool. And the way Zod just slaps that guy. Um, another exciting thing from this was, uh, she said, we also didn't want to rely on traditional gaming crutches of the IP, kryptonite and fighting robots. There were rules about the big blue boy scout. This was pre Snyder, but we were to surround soups with foes more is in his power range. This is exactly what I've said in my videos where I've talked about, uh, how to make a good Superman game. I talked about how you don't lower Superman because a lot of people, every time you hear like a YouTuber or someone pitch how to make a good Superman game, it's always, I think you should start at a low power level and slowly you get more powerful as the game goes on. No, I want to play a Superman. Not <laughs> Batman, which because Batman Arkham Knight is essentially a low-powered Superman So what do you do? You just you bring in the powerful villains you bring in people at his level That's what you do and right here. This video is um this was like a render to show what gameplay might look like at a more final state. This was their target render. Uh, what she said about this was, this was created by artists during pre-productions. Its intent is to show what the gameplay might look like with visuals closer to the final expectation instead of, you know, like the prototype gameplay we just saw. Uh, I believe I'd seen this video before though. I had not seen the gameplay before, but this video looks familiar. I think this had leaked, been leaked a couple years ago. I believe I had seen this before. I could be wrong. I'm just, maybe I'm just having deja vu, but I thought I'd seen this video for. Either way, still cool. Superman fighting Doomsday sounds awesome. Uh, like the environments were heavily based on Superman the animated series. She also said, which you can see from the gameplay, and also like some uh, there's some other screenshots she posted on her Twitter. I'll have the Twitter thread linked in the description as well if you want to check that out. Um, there we also got some concept art which I'll be throwing up on screen as well. So we got concept art for Superman versus Darkseid, Superman versus Doomsday, and Superman versus Livewire. And all of that looks really cool. Like, I mean, just, just all that looks really cool to me. I'd love to actually play this game. Too bad it got canned. Uh, we also got concept art for just like character designs for a Parademon, Brimstone, Dark Side, and Livewire. So all this stuff looks really cool. It just makes me sad that uh, that the studio and the publisher got canned because, uh, well, the developer and the publisher, because this looks so cool. And the ideas behind it sound great. I'm not the biggest fan of Superman the Animated Series as far as like being the best representation of Superman, but as far as like art style and like combat goes, I think that's a good place to take inspiration from. And I think, and I would definitely be excited to play this game. It sucks that <laughs> we haven't gotten a Superman game since then. Like we got that one, the first Superman Returns game, that was it, uh, and that game sucked, but that that's it. We haven't gotten any Superman games since then. It would be cool if uh, WB actually put some effort into giving us a Superman game. 
especially with these ideas. I like the fact that they're like, hey, we didn't want to rely on the stupid, you know, fight robots and fight people with kryptonite because that's all Superman can do. And anyone else is too fragile. Uh, but yeah, the gameplay looks cool. The stuff that she mentioned in her Twitter thread looks cool. I would have been so excited to play this game, but sadly it's not happening. So again, the link in the description if you want to check out her Twitter thread and also I'll have links to the video she posted as well so you can watch those with sound. There's not much to the sound as far as that goes, but if you want to watch the full videos on there, um, yeah, this is cool that she posted this. I'm very happy. At least, at least we know now that they did want to do a Superman game at one point and they never returned. But who knows how this would change the uh, superhero gaming landscape like as far as comic book video games. Who knows what would have happened? Who knows if this would have uh, stopped, uh, like if this would have stopped us getting Arkham Asylum. I have no clue. Probably not because Arkham Asylum came out like 2009. So I'm assuming Arkham Asylum was already in development at this point. But who knows what would have happened, how this would have influenced Arkham Asylum. I don't know. Would have been interesting. I will... Yeah, man, it just makes me sad that we didn't get this game because all this stuff sounds great and it looks so cool. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what did you think of this gameplay and demo and concept art that we got. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.